In today's ride, I'll show you around some new trails at Rouse Hill, test out the new GoPro Hero 9 Black, try out some new features, and then work on my jumping. Hey guys, Phil from Trail Talk here, and today we're riding at sunny Rouse Hill. Well, it's sunny for now, but it's been raining every two minutes or so. So this has kind of been the best break between weather and the trail's are actually running pretty well. It's not too wet, so. And I'm also on the GoPro Hero 9, so I can watch me watching me, and also you guys can watch you watching me, watching me. <laughs> Pretty cool. But it's cool having a screen in the front and the footage should hopefully be better now. So do some more POVs for you guys because I know you've been asking for it. So let's get into some riding. Okay, so dropping in on one of the classics first. There's gonna be a few multiple lines. So I'll probably skip through some of the sections and then just do the, the cool stuff. Cause it's just been school holidays, which means a lot of sketchy building. <laughs> nice little fun. Rock garden here. New jump. Whee! Drop down here. Drop your heels through here. Pin it. Whew! Nice North Shore here. Oh. I know my headset's still a little creaky, I haven't fixed it yet, but been too busy doing buys, guys. Good first run. I then went back up to the top and dropped into the other main run down, which forks off to the left a couple of hundred meters down the original trail. So let me know how, this is on the chesty as well, so let me know how it looks. Whoop. Up and over, down the chute. Off the drop here. <laughs> Through the hole. <laughs> So we got the drop down here, then another fast little section after this. Let's try to get that. Whoop. Gets a bit wet down here. And we're done. Now it's time to try out the new trails. Like the original two, they start at the top of the road, but then peel off to the left 50 or so meters down from the start. Under the tree, ooh, exit. There used to be a lot of asbestos up here, so I'm gonna be careful. Jumpy, jumpy. Oh, this is flowy. Oh. Ah, I'm going here. Yep. Nice. That was flowy, super short, but good fun. So I'll try the other one next, see how that goes. The second new trail starts around 15 meters down from the entry of the other new trail on the left. This one's a little bit faster and a little bit longer and meets up at the bottom with the first of the original trails that I showed you. Super fast. What? Jump the asbestos. <laughs> yeah, here. Oh, another jump. Okay, here. Whoop, whoop. Oop, jump. Riding blind. And then we finish back here. Oh, my legs are dead. You already saw me do this. <laughs> oh yeah, so those new trails were pretty fun. Pretty flowy, bit different around here. Most of it's kind of like techie stuff and a bit slower. So it's good to kind of open up a little bit, have a bit more fun. So what I thought is a good idea now, we'll do a quick comparison between the Hero 9 Black and the Hero 7. We'll do a comparison on both on Hypersmooth, not Hypersmooth Boost, because on the 9 it crops the image in a little bit and I don't really want that. So we'll just do Hypersmooth to Hypersmooth and we'll do it on kind of one of the more chunky sections of trails so you can really compare kind of the stabilization as well as the quality of the image as well. Then after that, I'll kind of quickly go through my settings that I've been using on the Hero 9 and then we'll session some features and then go over to the jumps on the other side of the trail. As you can see, the stabilization on the Hero 9 is a fair bit better. Image quality is a little bit better too, just looks a little bit crisper, and that's thanks to the higher bitrate on the 9, but it's not night and day. What I'm really impressed by too is the audio. So for someone who does mountain bike YouTube, I definitely think the 9 is a step up from the 7, but if you've got the 7 and you just take videos on the weekend, I don't really see the need for an upgrade. Okay, so let me quickly go over my settings that I've been using so far. So this is my POV preset, which is kind of all you guys care about, POV mountain biking. Okay, so starting with resolution, 4K for YouTube, if you're uploading it there, it's gonna compress it massively, so 4K is probably the way to go. Then 30 frames per second, 
it's kind of my happy middle ground. Then super view, hyper smooth on. I can use hyper smooth boost, but then it crops the image a little bit more. So I just use normal hyper smooth 3.0. And as you guys saw, looks super smooth. Moving on to protein now, and you guys definitely want to have that on. So bit rate, I'm going high as much information as I can get into the image as possible. With YouTube, it compresses it massively, so as much bitrate as you can get, the better. Uh, keeping my shutter on auto, this is a great way to leave the GoPro to expose things as opposed to ISO and all that kind of stuff like that. It's just the best to leave this one auto unless you're using an ND filter. Moving on to EV comp, I like to put minus one. GoPro tends to overexpose things and overblow those kind of highlights and stuff like that. So using your EV comp, minus one tends to work best. White balance, I've got it at 5,500 Kelvin. Again, this is gonna depend on what kind of lighting you're in, but for general daylight, 5,500 works the best. ISO, I like to just leave it 100 usually, but here kind of got 100 minimum and 800 max. But yeah, really 100 minimum, 100 max, you can probably get away with too. Sharpness, I've got medium. I'd probably put low if I was gonna do some post stuff, but I just do it straight from the GoPro, so I leave it on medium. And then I leave GoPro color too because I don't do any color correction and anything like that. And then when it comes to the mics, I've got just raw audio off and wind off, just using the normal stereo mics. And then I'll use a wind slayer to kind of reduce the wind noise and all that kind of stuff like that. So that's pretty much it. That's my settings. So let's get back to the trails. Okay, so we're playing some storm chases here. I don't know if you can see. Uh, it doesn't even look like it's got a storm. Trust me, it's about to storm. So I'll come up to a feature here. Haven't done it before, it's pretty new. So it's kind of a drop into here there's a huge drop down there which is no chance of happening but this one i think it's a bit more intimidating because it kind of like falls away and it's cut in it doesn't look that much but like i think because it falls away it looks bigger but give it a go now see if i can do it if not we gotta go right over to the other side because i want to show you guys that side before it starts raining give it a go dropping Still did it, but I got hit in the butt massively. I think the moral of the story here is, if you're trying something new, always get a speed check, watch someone do it first, and don't just do it for YouTube content. So I quickly rode over to the other trails to get in one run of each of the jump lines. Let's get the first one, it's a bit peaky at the moment. Oh, oh, <laughs> they turned them into booters. <laughs> That one to be changed too. <laughs> School holidays, man. <laughs> Always happens. Over. And done. The second trail starts up at the same point as the other jump line, but this time I decided to give that first jump a go to see if I could do it. Oh, <laughs> you! <laughs> I'm getting a bit happy there. <laughs> What's well, my first manual? <laughs> okay, sketchy roller into the jump. <laughs> I'm a mess. <laughs> And we're done. No way I'm doing that. <laughs> uh, that was messy. Sorry guys. <laughs> so there we go, finally finished the ride. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I do enjoy the kind of the trails around house here. They're pretty fun. And some new stuff comes up, which is always fun too. And hopefully you guys enjoy me making a bit of a mess of myself. I think I'm gonna have to ice my leg a little bit after that drop. <laughs> bit sketchy, but and then overshot that jump massively. But yeah. Uh, Hopefully you guys enjoy some kind of quick vlogs in between the buyer's guides because they do take up probably like one and a half weeks. So it's easy just to slap together and edit. And I know a lot of you, especially Australian guys, were missing some of the riding vlogs. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to leave a like too. And thanks for watching. See ya.